Hi, I'm Jess. I make videos to interact with others and hopefully make you laugh. Ready, set, go. It's a Segway party. I was showing your mom, my mom didn't know what a vlog was, so I was showing her yours this morning. She's like, Sh Hey friends, how's it going? Well, I am running stairs since I haven't worked out, you know, the last <laughs> four days. Uh, but my beautiful supermodel friend Kimberly is here to run with me to motivate me to keep my ass moving because she's going to look so great doing it. <laughs> Say hello! Hello! <laughs> We are going to do stairs at the convention center. We're going to go up these stairs. And the reason we're going this way is because look at how nice, well, I'll have to show you. But I'm going to have a lot to look forward to at the top. There is something happening at the convention center. I don't know what, but it looks pretty fancy. Kimberly and I are trying to decide if we can go in. You know my rule. If the rope is not up, they're not trying really hard to keep people out. Does it look up to me? Oh wow. It's gonna be a wedding, I think. That was awful. The whole time I was running, I heard the song, out on the streets, they call it murder. Because that's how I felt, like my legs were being murdered. Stairs are the devil. Hey friends, how's it going? <laughs> I'm at the gym. Technically, I'm at the gym. Technically, I've been at the gym for, I'm not kidding, like, 20 minutes. 20 minutes of me sitting in my car, <laughs> on my phone, looking at random things like CNN. I'm just too tired to get out of my car. I did stairs today for cardio, obviously. And when I got here, the gym looked really packed from the outside. So I was too intimidated to go in. And then I jumped on my phone and then I just got distracted. I mean, I just, I just know I'm not the only one that does this. You know what I mean? Like, and I'll tell you what it is. This is a good time to have this conversation before I go to the gym. So I mentioned that I was going to go into a little bit more detail about diet, bet, and all that fun stuff. The truth is, the honest truth is, I don't like to do things that I'm bad at. I really don't. I prefer to only do things that I do very well in. When I was at like the peak of my fitness... I felt so good. I looked real good. I would come to the gym and it was like a playground because I was just really strong and I could do all the exercises and I knew what I was doing. And now I feel so behind and I feel so weak that being at the gym isn't fun. It's, it's awful. I mean, I can't, everything seems heavier. <laughs> And I just feel really awkward and everyone else seems to know exactly what they're doing. It makes me not want to go in. And then I sit here and I tell my things like, and I tell myself things like, Oh, I'll just go home and I'll work out tomorrow. Oh, I'll just eat better and then I won't have to work out. Oh, I'll just run after work tomorrow. No, those are all stupid ideas. What I need to do is get out this car right now and go to the gym. Because when I was at my, when I felt my best, um, I was at the gym like six days a week. And it wasn't because I was forcing myself. I actually really liked being here because I felt good about being here and I felt good about myself. And so being at the gym was just something that I did. But now that it's harder and it's physically challenging, it makes it really hard to want to go. But this is how I got myself here in the first place, right? Now, for the diet bet, it's hard to believe that you don't know what I'm talking about when I say diet bet. I'll explain in less than 20 seconds. Diet bet, online game, people pitch in money, split the pot, and it's like a challenge to see if you can hit a goal weight that's based on a percentage that you have to lose in a certain amount of time. You play with strangers, basically. My favorite little YouTube fam bam, the Shaytards, are doing a six month challenge. So you have to lose a certain percentage of body weight. I think it's 10% over the period of six months. You pay every month at the very end of the bet. The people that did lose that percentage split whatever money is in the pot. What is holding me back the most? Not from doing it. I definitely want to do it. The question is, do I want to share it all 
um, because part of the diet bet is you have to share your weight so that people can like track to see how you're doing. Here's the honest to God truth. <laughs> Two weeks ago, I weighed myself and it was the most I ever weighed in my life. Think about that. Think about getting on a scale and the numbers are higher than the highest number you've ever seen. I was devastated. I literally changed into my pajamas and did nothing the entire day. I felt so disgusting. I felt so disgusted and disappointed with myself because I just assumed if I didn't weigh myself, then the numbers didn't exist. Look at that. See? See how that works? You don't weigh yourself. You don't know how much you weigh. Then it's like, I could be 110 for all I know. And in that time, I ate whatever I wanted, whenever I wanted, which typically is either like a, some type of chip product or quesadilla. I don't know why I punished my body because I was stressed out. It was a horrible mistake. And now I want my body back. I want to be strong and I want to be athletic and I want to be able to run and I want to be able to come to the gym and work out on those machines and feel like I know exactly what I'm doing and that I can perform any exercise that that machine says you should be able to do. That's what I want. The problem is I'm not a patient gal. And I'm not patient, meaning I don't want to come to the gym for two weeks and not lose any weight because then I just assume it's pointless use of my time. I know it's not, but I'm just telling you, that's what I think. Like, it's just, I know myself. I understand that people say you should love yourself the way you are. Internally, I, I love myself who I am. I think I'm a good person. I think I am caring and understanding and compassionate and patient and kind. Doesn't mean I have to be happy with who I am externally, especially if you're not doing anything to better yourself. If I was working out six days a week and this is how I looked, great, I'd be so proud of that. That's not the truth. <laughs> the truth is I do the exact opposite of a gym. Whatever the opposite is, I guess sitting on a couch watching Pretty Little Liars, damn them. And that brings us to me talking about my personal stuff with you guys because you know I started making this daily vlog July 1st of 2014 and I just wanted kind of a diary to document what it would look like to look back at a year of my life and this this wanting to be stronger and healthier has been an ongoing conversation in my brain for two years two years no excuse. Really, there's none. I'm busy. I have a job. So does everybody else. Here I am in a parking lot <laughs> of a gym that I, <laughs> I would have been done by my workout by now had I gone in when I got here. And I'm really scared. I'm really scared because, you know, I want to work out. I want to be healthy are all conversations I've had with myself, but there was no accountability for them. They were just conversations I had with myself that I just forgot about and what about my daily life. But now I'm saying it to a camera and that means that there is a record of these words and I want that to mean something. I want to look back at this vlog, you know, three, four, five months from now and say like, girl, I am so happy you got out of that car that night. I'm so happy you got out of that car every night that you went to go work out. Because myself six months ago is very thankful for the decisions that I'm making right now. They're just really hard. All right, friends, I'm going to pause this conversation. And when I get back into this car, I will have worked out and we'll see how I feel then. Okay. <laughs> okay. Three, two, one, go. Well, I did it. I went. I conquered, <laughs> I guess. I got some work done while I was in there. I was at the gym for maybe like 45 minutes or so. I'm exhausted. My body already hurts. <laughs> but I'm happy that I did it. And I'm going to be so happy that I do this. 
I just want it to be like five months from now because I want to know what the results are already. <laughs> Alright friends, sorry if I was like way, you know, personal today, but you're my friends and that's what I do. I share with friends. Maybe you relate. I don't know. I guess we'll see what happens in the next couple of months, huh? If you've stumbled across this video, hi, my name is Jess. I'm a San Diegan and I make videos Monday through Friday. All right, friends, I hope you have a wonderful night. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Hey, friends. Well, I was pretty open with you today. And to be honest with you, it felt really good to get it off my chest. You know, I heard once from a very wise person uh, that when you have secrets that you can't share with people, then those secrets own you. And for a long time, well, at least two weeks, it's been a secret that's kind of hurt and been on my mind and I couldn't stop thinking about and sharing it has made me feel so much better. So we'll see what happens. All right, friends, have a wonderful night. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.